Hello guys, what's up? What's up uh, and how are you doing? I hope you're doing great. That's a hope. <laughs> anyway, so in this particular video, I'll be talking about Indus Valley Civilization and <clears throat> its relation to this technique called meditation so i'll be talking about indus valley civilization and meditation and the relation between them so i'll be talking about stuff after indus valley and to talk about indus valley civilization i need to start to talk about the very beginning of everything so that is the earth -na 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 -na. okay so the beginning of everything is the beginning of the earth right so even before indus valley civilization there was this planet earth so according to science and uh, according to on the basis of scientific study people the scientists came out with the information that the earth is actually about 4.5 billion years old okay so the they used a method called radiometric dating so let's believe in that story the <laughs> that earth is actually 4.6 billion years old uh, they seem to have proof so anyway as the earth has formed and it's been and uh, slowly time has passed and uh, the earliest humans were found in today's Africa about 4.2 million years ago okay they found the fossils of humans and not until 50,000 years ago uh, the present human is not found I mean the human being at 4.2 million years ago is different from the human being at 50,000 years ago the process of evolution happened and the the human being the homo sapien came into existence in 50,000 years ago as the human being that exists today so it's quite a long time anyway so by the time this human being came to india this today's indian region it was 1.4 million years so so anyway the human the early homo sapiens migrated to India and started living so it was the stone age and uh, up till 4000 BC 4000 BC the human beings were living like uh, were early men they were they were like savages and uh, they were in the stone age so anyway and time passed and passed and slowly a new civilization emerged yes this is according to british history so anyway guys the dates are quite controversial and uh, they are not given exactly of which time period it is because they are quite old anyway in 1921 the British people found the remains the ruins of the Indus Valley civilization and they dated it to be 
of around 2000 BC, 2000 years before Christ. So it happens to be this Indus Valley civilization happens to be the world's, one of the world's first civilization that existed on the face of the planet Earth. Before this, people were just using stones and uh, uh, weapons made from stones uh, and stuff like that. They used to kill animals uh, uh, and they used to have food. They, they depended on the forest and uh, they survived like that. But this Indus Valley Civilization is the first one, one of the first, where man was civilized. And contemporary to this civilization is Mesopotamian civilization and uh, Egyptian civilization. So, anyway, so what is so great about this Indus Valley civilization? Okay, it is one of the world's first civilization, but the thing is, this civilization was very advanced and it was pretty modern in nature. The cities of this Indus Valley civilization were very much planned. They were in blocks. This civilization has unique features. And one of the important feature is the city planning. Anyway, guys, the point is there were many cities, around 1400 cities that survived in that time period. So this city, this civilization was advanced. It has uh, buildings. It was modern. It has, it had uh, agriculture. It had uh, a drainage system. It had baths. So, so and so they keep, they kept on digging and they found many things about Indus Valley civilization. The most important, the point that I found about Indus Valley civilization is the religion part. Okay, first of all, nobody till today decipher the Indus Valley civilization's script. So we have no information about what they call themselves and what they call anything. Indus Valley civilization is quite mysterious to us. But what they found were seals okay they found stamp kind of things and they tell us about the religion of this indus valley civilization so indus valley civilization they prayed to mother goddess and as their main deity and pashupati mahadeva is how we call uh, their deity Pashupati means Lord of the animals Pashu means animals and Pati is metaphorically translated to Lord so Pashupati is uh, their God so this ceiling that they found consisted of a man who was sitting in a position as, as if he was doing meditation. Okay. The sealing, the seal or the stamp of this particular civilization had a man in meditation. Okay. So that's the most peculiar thing of this civilization that they had meditation okay and this particular civilization Indus Valley civilization is prior is before the Vedic era of India this Indus Valley civilization existed before the Hinduism before the Sanatana Dharma, that is, uh, that is a religion 
uh, which is a predecessor to Hinduism. Hinduism is uh, derived from Sanatana Dharma. So, the point here is, this civilization that has lived, existed in a modern and in a highly fashioned way, existed before the Vedas, before before the Rig Veda, before all this uh, Sanskrit uh, things that we have in India today and all the rituals of India. So, that's one must understand that these Vedic things, Veda uh, and the Hindu religion came after, well after the Indus Valley and Indus Valley has lived without all this knowledge. They had something of their own, but they had meditation. So clearly meditation and Hindu religion have nothing whatsoever if you consider history because Hinduism and Sanatana Dharma came later and Indus Valley civilization existed before Vedas and Rig Veda and Sanskrit and all the rituals that exist today. If history has taught one thing, it is that religion is trouble. Okay. Although people, although the masters, the teachers, whoever found their religions, they did it with their good intentions. They had their teachings, but eventually religion just brought trouble to the people. It brought wars. It was, it was, it is chaos. But one common thing that you can observe is most or every founding member of every religion did meditation. Meditation is a practice that is a discovery of human kind okay we we do not know which religion in this valley civilization had or what kind of things they had all we know is that they had a mother goddess and we found a ceiling in which a man is sitting in the position of meditation and he is meditating that is all that we figured out so the thing that survived in all this time in this valley civilization in vedic era everything is meditation the meditation practice is the one that has lived before and after and now that's the only thing that lives so my point being here is that religion and meditation have nothing in common but meditation is however linked to religion because later on the religion have adopted this meditation practice in their ritual so I'm not saying something is bullshit because I obviously do not want to offend anybody but look at the facts that spirituality or meditation is the ultimate solid thing that has existed and exists today and the religion and the religious practice is is only temporary it has gone up and down through all the period of time so my philosophy is that one should have importance towards meditation and not towards any religion so one can become non-religious and have nothing to do with any religion and yet practice meditation because meditation is the ultimate thing not a uh, religion see we religion has preached their own uh, teachings they have their own gods some religions uh, have idol worshipping some religions say there is uh, the god is formless and so on and so on but they don't really teach meditation to be the ultimate they tell people to do that, to do this, which is not spiritual in kind. They are mostly rituals and traditional rituals, which 
are mysterious and not logical which are not which are purely based on beliefs and faith that meditation is not anything that is simply on belief or faith but it is a practical thing and uh, that's that's my point and that is what i wish to deliver that in the, a civilization has lived before your vedas before your hinduism before your sanskrit before anything civilizations were there and they had meditation and not any religion so now people especially in india the dominant religion is definitely hinduism and we also have other religions but it is mainly dominated by hinduism and not every aspect of hinduism is a uh, liberal aspect some of them are causing trouble to the people and uh, and so uh, i don't think that it's a great idea to follow that religion anymore because all you all you need is meditation and not any religion and if you practice meditation you might find for yourself what the ultimate truth is and you need not actually believe anything blindly and you can find out things for yourself that's my ultimate point so i take leave now guys i i guess i've delivered my points in a clear fashion if you have any queries please do comment below please like the video if you have enjoyed it and if you agree or disagree with me and do subscribe and i'll see you later guys Bye-bye.